prayer on Thursday the 7th of January. The Lord open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, King of the nations. To you be praise and glory forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteousness dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit, that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is King. Let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim. Let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all people. And praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. The mighty King, who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed righteousness and justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his people and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of the cloud. They kept his testimonies in the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them, and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called the children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him. For we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. Everyone who commits a sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he was revealed to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Everyone who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. Everyone who commits sin is a child of the devil, 
For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God was revealed for this purpose, to destroy the works of the devil. Those who have been born of God do not sin, because God's seed abides in them. They cannot sin, because they have been born of God. The child of God and the children of the devil are revealed in this way. All who do not do what is right are not from God, nor are those who do not love their brothers and sisters. This is the message you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We must not be like Cain, who was from the evil one, and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil, and his brother's righteous. Do not be astonished, brothers and sisters, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life, because we love one another. Whoever does not love abides in death. All who hate a brother or sister are murderers. We know that murderers do not have eternal life abiding in them. We know love by this, that he lays down his life for us. We ought to, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother in, or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God. And we receive from him whatever we ask because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment that we should believe him in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey the commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit that he has given us. We worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is King. We worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. We worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This is the Christ, the Chosen of God, the one who will bring healing to the nations. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we give you thanks for this morning. All that we do today, may it be done into the glory of your name. May we shine out as lanterns in the 
plus 2 en octave. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and all of its needs. We pray for the situation in America, where democracy seems to have failed. Let all the world know that democracy means listening. It may not agree, but listening and appreciating the stand of others. Let not prejudice come in the way. Be with all nations today as they struggle to come to terms with coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the healing of the sick and we pray for those who mourn. Merciful Father, be with all those who are sick. Give them hope in their hearts, courage and strength. And those who are facing death, let them know the power of your love and the promise of eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. God, who by the leading of a star manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth, mercifully grant that we, who know you now by faith, may at last behold your glory face to face, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.